What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got an off to college tech guide with all of the tech, gadgets and things that you might need to keep your apartment nice and teched out but also clean. And I partnered with Amazon to make this video but these are some items that I picked out that I believe are great for the back to school season. If you guys wanna check out Amazon's full college tech guide, check the link down below as well as all the products that I featured in this video. But as you guys might know, I moved out about a year ago and it took about six months for me to completely feel like this place was moved in because I honestly didn't really know what to buy in terms of bits and pieces when I first moved out. Since a lot of you guys are gonna be heading back to college or moving to a college dorm for the very first time, I think a lot of these items are going to help you out. So I tried my best to pick items that kind of cover each category and you can kind of pick from there based on what you're going to need. Of course, moving out isn't cheap at all and I wanna give you guys some of the items that I have featured in this video. So all you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like on this video and also leave a comment down below with your favorite item and why. And I'm gonna pick a winner in the comment section when this video hits 3000 likes. As always, I would also really appreciate it if you guys went and checked out my other back to school videos as well as my social media networks, including Instagram and Twitter, as I'm trying to post there a ton. So one thing that guys especially aren't really good at is prioritizing what they need and what they want. And I'm definitely one of them. So I think a lot of cases, if you decide not to get any of the things that you need in this video and spend your money on one thing, for a lot of people, it's going to be a game console. And I totally get it. It's a lot of fun. You can play it with your friends, compete with them. And my pick for this year is the Xbox One S because it does come in many different bundles. And at the moment, it is probably the cheapest console option on the market. But of course it does also double as a 4K Blu-ray player, but most importantly, and something that I find myself using a ton on my consoles is 4K media streaming in Netflix and YouTube. I think if you're looking for one good console right now, the Xbox One S is one that you really can't go wrong with. And if you split it with a couple roommates, then it isn't too expensive, but you're gonna have a ton of fun with it. Of course, another piece of tech that you can't forget is a printer. So the one that I have here is the HP 5255. And trust me, I've had a lot of printers in the past and they've had various issues. So this one right here kind of has all the generalized things that you're going to need as a student with an all-in-one touchscreen wireless printer capabilities that let you print, scan, copy, and fax. And for example, if you ever just want to print out your homework directly from your smartphone through an email that your group member might have sent to you or download from Google Drive, Dropbox, then the HP Smart App makes it very easy to do that. This printer is also part of HP's Ink Replenishment Service Program. And as a student, there's nothing worse to go in to print your project that's due at 8 a.m. and it's like 7.40 and your printer decides to run out of ink at that exact moment and the project is no exceptions. And that literally happened to me a couple months ago. I didn't have time to drive to the store, get new ink, come back, print that stuff out and drive to school and get it in that Dropbox in time. So luckily I drove to my parents' house, but if you're living off campus and your friends are all in class, then you're screwed. With this program, the printer actually lets HP know when to send more original HP ink, and you actually can pick between four different programs based on how many pages you print per month. The ink arrives to your door before it runs out, and there's no commitment or cancellation fee, so that's always nice. So the next piece that I picked is kind of a bedside companion that you would put on your nightstand, and that is the Amazon Echo Spot. So this right here is probably the best alarm clock out there. It could do a lot of different things, but most importantly, it also has smart home capability if that's what you use in conjunction with the Philips Hue, the Logitech Circle, and also synced up with the Amazon Echo if you have those. When it comes to hardware, you have a touchscreen display on the front and on the top, you have your volume controls as well as a button for snooze. And you will also notice that there is a camera on the front. Obviously with Amazon Alexa built in, you can control your music directly through voice and also control your smart features around the house. But I think if you don't have your phone near your bedside or choose not to, then it's nice to have an alarm clock that digitally displays like stuff like weather and time on a screen. One thing that you're definitely going to need for your apartment or your dorm is a vacuum. So in my case, I find my apartment gets extremely dusty, even though I don't really bring in any things and I don't have a pet at the moment, even though I kind of want to get one. So a vacuum that I found that gets a job done very nicely, both in terms of price, but also multi-use, is a Bissell cordless hand vacuum. If you have a pet, this one is also made to manage pet hair as well. In total, it comes with a motorized brush tool, an upholstery tool, and a crevice tool, and has up to a 17 minute runtime, which should be enough to clean a small space effectively, and even your car. I think for anyone who's looking for a vacuum, this is definitely a great option because if I had to plug my vacuum in every five to 10 feet with a corded one, then I'm probably never going to clean my place. If you're like me, one of the biggest concerns whenever you move out or go somewhere new is whether or not you're gonna have solid internet connection. And with that, even though it is going to vary based on your university and how they have it set up, having a good router is definitely going to help. This router is definitely not the cheapest one out there, but I think it's one that you can use for many years because it's very future-proof, but it also doesn't break the bank for what it offers. And I think TP-Link from what I've seen in the past and how they work is a good reliable option that doesn't break the bank. I believe when I checked the other day, there is a $10 off coupon. So if you want it, then you better act fast. 
This right here is the AC1750 and it has a dual band setup. So it is gonna be slightly overkill if you're just gonna be using it in a university dorm. But what I've done in the past actually when I was away for a summer camp was I purchased the internet plan, plugged in my own portable router and was able to charge money for other people who want to use my network. With three antennas, the range is gonna be really good and should span for, in a lot of cases, the entire floor of the dorm. There's also four gigabit LAN ports in the back as well as a USB port for storage, but I think as a general router alone, this is definitely the best option that I found for under $100. So of course, a lot of the things that we mentioned in this video are expensive and people are going to want to steal it, whether it's your roommate trying to take things from your fridge or something like that. Some of you might want to invest in a non-permanent home security system and my personal pick is a Logitech Circle 2. This is smart home compatible and works both in a wired and wireless configuration through Wi-Fi and has a wide angle 1080p camera that is 180 degrees in field of view. For most dorms, you could really just get away with one of these. And there is also two way talking. So if you catch your friend in the act, you can literally call them out from wherever you are. My pick for a speaker in this video is the Amazon Echo. So the reason why I picked this one is because although I'm a huge fan of Sonos products, they're definitely not the cheapest out there. So for students, this kind of doubles as a speaker, but also a smart home system. And just looking at it, the design is very small, minimal, and stylish. The one I have right here is in gray fabric, and on the top you have your buttons, including volume controls, the voice assistant buttons, and the speaker design is a two and a half inch woofer with a 0.6 inch tweeter. So here's a quick sound test. You can also connect your smartphone to it via Bluetooth as well as a 3.5 millimeter jack on the back. But I think with all the Amazon Alexa features with voice control and also the smart home capabilities, that is very universal. If that's something that you're gonna use, then this is a great way to kill two birds with one stone and it is currently 15% off. So of course, coffee is going to be a very important part of any student out there. And the one that I picked for a number of reasons is an Espresso Inicia. First off, it comes in right around $100, but it also uses a pod system and is also portable. All you have to do is put your pod in on the top and it'll start making your coffee right away. And it just takes 25 seconds to heat up completely. The water reservoir on the back can hold up to nine cup servings and there is two default sizes including the small and large but there really isn't any special features about this one aside from the fact that it makes your coffee which it's nice and simple so I think it's perfect for students. The next product that I have is the iRobot 690 vacuum but if you have a big place that you're sharing with a lot of people and you don't really want to clean it then this will get the job done. It has a three stage cleaning system for brushing, sweeping and vacuuming which means multiple surfaces can easily be cleaned including hard floors and carpet for example. With these, all you really have to do is turn it off and start cleaning or set it to clean anytime automatically using the app. It's able to navigate itself around your place and also go back to the base to self-charge. The built-in sensor is also able to tell the robot to work on places that are dirtier. The iRobot is also Wi-Fi connected and once again, like a lot of the other things in this video, it is smart home compatible and works with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. So one thing that I noticed a lot of friends in college had were LED bulbs that had colors in them. Because in the room, it's often really dark and there's only a few bulbs or lamps. It's just nice to set up your own little vibe, whether you're studying or just wanting to listen to music and jam out in your room. Having a set of LED color bulbs is just a way to completely change the vibe of your room. The one that I believe is the most reliable from my experience is the Philips Hue. It definitely isn't the cheapest out there, but if you're looking to spend the money and purchasing the starter kit, you pretty much have enough bulbs for the entire place. The bulb is 600 lumens and has up to 16 million colors and you're able to easily control the effects, the lighting, the colors in conjunction with the other bulbs directly from the app. Like a lot of the other things I tried to pick in this video, this is very smart home compatible universally, whether it's Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and of course also Apple HomeKit. If you don't want to spend too much money on a console such as the Xbox One S though, then another option is a Nintendo Classic. This thing comes in at under $100 and it has 30 arcade games built in. It is HD, it has the HDMI port on the back and USB. So if you're just looking to have something that is fun to play occasionally with your friends, then the Nintendo Classic is a good option that is significantly cheaper. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And like I mentioned, these are items that I've tried to pick out that cover each category as to what a student might need. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like and leave your comment with your favorite item down below, as well as some other products that you believe are great for the college dorm. And I'll see you all in the next one.